Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, and freaks of nature of all ages. My name is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson. Travel to Arena Lobby. What the hell does that mean? Oh, there's a fast travel. Huh. Anyways, what I was doing <coughs> was I was running around in here um, in the truck. I'm trying to unlock uh, more of my map. Because if you go to your map, where you've been will unlock. Um, you'll be able to see where you've been. So what I've been doing is running around on this map, uh, got in the truck, and I'm trying to open up as much of the map as I possibly can. Because I like to be able to see where things are and I've got most of the map highlighted now so anyways I was doing that and then as I'm coming up through here I heard this girl over here yell he needs our help so I decided I was going to stop and see what she wanted and go ahead and start the recording here since I'm going to be actually doing a side mission we were driving to the lifeguard tower when something jumped in front of the car John lost control and we crashed He's still there, trapped inside the car. You have to help me get him out, please. Well, where is he? Yeah, that's an easy one, too. Get Laurie's husband out of the wrecked I'm car. In. Oh, thank you. Quickly, over here. Well, lead the way. You know, you run pretty good for being barefoot. Where are they? Keep rolling, bitch. Okay, now what do I do? Can't get that crowbar. Can't do that. Which means I need to find more zombies to kill, I guess. <clears throat> Oh, that was good. The door doesn't budge. Try again. So I'm going to have to do this tear the door open thing. There we go. Now, am I going to put him in the car and take him back to the lifeguard tower? Oh, thank goodness. John! John, you're going to be okay. Here. Take what you need out of the trunk. Whatever you want. All right, cool. I don't want the crowbar, though. Okay, are you guys done? You know, you can follow me and shit, and I'll take you back to the lifeguard tower. Is that it? Oh, it? Looks like it. What is the arena lobby? I have no idea what that is. What Stop the right there. fuck is Stay this? Hey, hey, easy there, friend. We're not infected. You're alive? I didn't think there was anyone living left out there. Come on. Follow me. Oh, I just stumbled into something if fucking you're looking for the cool. evacuation point, you're too late. It's closed. Colonel White's orders. Yeah, actually, we were. Don't worry. This is an old bomb shelter. Very well fortified. It was the evacuation point for anyone exposed to the disease. 
They were examined and quarantined in hopes that help would arrive. But the contagion spread, and finally they told us to shut this place down. What, shut it down? What about the infected? And we were ordered to kill them. Every last one of them. To halt the spread. But then we lost contact with command. No way to call in evac. Nothing on the radio at all. Well, that's probably because of the monsoon. Maybe. Shut the fuck up, you maggots! What the fuck is this place? It's a miracle we found this place at all. Major Dixon's talking to the troops. He's our commanding officer. We will do what is necessary to survive. We have enough weapons and ammo to kill everyone on this godforsaken island ten times over. We have enough food to last us for years. We are self-sufficient here, and we will fight together until we've drawn our last breath. Yes, sir! I don't know if I like this guy or not yet. I really don't know if I like this guy or not yet. What, what kind of arena are you talking about exactly? They're survivors, Major. We have four arenas full of starving infected who would tear us apart like rabid dogs if given half a chance. Each arena is set up to offer soldiers the ultimate test. The task is to kill all the infected before they can kill you. There's only one rule. Survival. Yeah, I'm not sure I see the point of this. It's a test of courage. A rite of passage. We execute our last order and slaughter the infected. And those who fight best will be rewarded. Only the strong will survive. Yeah, I don't like you, dude. I really don't like you. Current quest, seek and loot, talk to Cinemoy. But I am going to explore this place a little bit and see if there's anything I can steal from these assholes just because I don't like the way they're talking. We have four arenas, each one overrun with the infected. See for yourself. All right, I will. What we got over here? Red Hot Blade Mod, yeah! There's a Blade Mod. What is this? It for free. Just don't walk away with anything. Oh, okay, so he's a traitor. Huh. Interesting. Now, can I put stuff in storage, or... I'm going to check this table out. All right, that's as far as I can get that. Okay, so that's that's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Oh, that looks cool. Are these the arena doors? This was supposed to be a safe harbor for bringing in Arena supplies. C, hard. And nothing's coming in now. All arena D, moderate. Ooh, what's over here? Oh, that's just, okay. Maybe you'll meet him out there. We got up here. What's this? Oh, a fact? This is one of the greatest things about games of this nature. Just the ability to walk around and search shit. And find stuff that, you know... I like it. It's over here. Nothing. Let's see what the other two arenas look like. Very hard. Easy. Okay, so that's like practice areas, I guess. 
There's savages in here. Worse than savages. Maybe you can bring them a little civilization. You know what? I'm going to try the easy one just because I can and see if I get any kind of rewards out of this. See if I can get any bonuses or something. That would be cool if I could do that. So this is just a completely unexpe unexpected. So G to start the next wave. Tab to bring up stats. Okay, there's the exit. And is that... Okay, that's the little area I was just... Okay, I got it. Alright, so this is going to be a wave survival thing, I think. There's one there. What we got over here? Oh, it's an upgrade bench. I set you free. Oh, yeah, I love this thing already. Tesla bomb knife. Oh, nice. That's another bladed mod I found. Yep, it looks like this arena is going to be fucking worth it. No, the head, the head, the head. Not the fucking arms. So what, is there only one more Zomtard in here? Is that it? Just one more? All right, here we go. All right, next wave in 10 seconds. You know what? Okay, and I've got six in this wave to deal with. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and do one more wave. Anything on you? No? Surrender! Oh, there's a med kit. Why do you tell zombies to surrender, dumbass? They're zombies. They don't know the meaning. That was kind of cool. Had an energy drink. And another med kit. Yeah, this wave thing looks like it's going to be paying off a little bit. So let's do this. Let's get these assholes into a bottleneck. Very nice. Very nice. Did any of these dickheads have anything on them? No? The other ones had good stuff. These don't. Oh, there's cash and a lot of it. Well, not a lot of it, but enough of it. Anything on her? No? This looks like the uh, native indigenous population here. So I think I'm going to try to work this last wave. Last two zombie zombies. And then I'll leave the arena. But yeah, this is kind of cool. I, I didn't even know this thing had arenas like this. Oh, 
Anything on you? No. And the last zombie is like fucking invisible or something because I don't see it anywhere in this damn arena. 18 kills, 670 experience. Nice. Nice. I could have got 19 if I'd have stayed in and done that very last one, but you know, oh well. All right, so let's go ahead and leave this. All right, so let's go ahead and leave this. But at least I know there's the arena here now. This is kind of cool. I like it. <clears throat> oh, my truck went away. Bastards. Now I gotta walk all the way back to the goddamn lighthouse. Uh, no engine parts in that. Or at least walk until I find another car. I still want to thoroughly explore the hotel, but... I am not even going to try to do that until I get some more power levels built up because just driving around the parking lot of the hotel, the zombies were just thicker than hell. Send you to a better place. D capital punishment. Maybe I can cut through the hotel to get back to Cinemoy. Wouldn't exactly be exploring it fully, but it would be cool. Alright, let's try it. Let's see if I'm going to survive this or if I'm going to get killed. I've been doing good. I don't think I've... I don't think I've actually died yet. I've come close a couple of times, but I haven't actually died yet in this whole playthrough. So... Oh, these motherfuckers are going to be rough. Can I turn the alarm off? There we go. Oh shit! Stop yelling, stupid. You're going to attract more attention. And I need to repair my mod now. I've been wanting to search this hotel for a while anyways. I just really do. I just, even if it's suicidal, I want to see what's in there. I want to see what kind of stuff I can pick up. I want to see, I want to see if I can actually make it through these motherfuckers. Right. Here we go. Well, that one went down good. Oh, I leveled up. Awesome. Okay, let's get back over here a little bit where there's no zombies. And hit you. 
Okay, so I brought my durability on my bladed weapons up to the second tier, so things should last a little bit longer now. Hopefully. Have me a handgun with two bullets and a backup reserve, just in case. Oh, this should be a good fight. There we go. That wasn't too terrible at all. Make sure I get all my weapons picked back up. There we go. Anything else? No? Okay, do I have any more weapons laying around? Hammers. No, it looks like I actually picked everything up. Awesome. What's over here? What's in here? A belt, huh? Money. Broke dick truck. Oh, there we go. Can't get any further that way. All right. You know, I still have not even attempted to try my fury yet. One of these days I should probably do that. That might be an idea. This looks really nice. God, I love the build in this game. This is really a beautiful, beautiful game. Beautiful build. Ooh, look at all that shit down there. Where is he? I hear him. There he is. There we go. This mod is about used up. Getting pretty close. Okay. Let's go this way. Check all this stuff. Oh, yeah. Nice. All kinds of loot here to grab. I dig it. go this way since that's the way the arrow's pointing can I actually can I actually get in the hotel or no Back 
up a little, let him swing once or twice. Oh crap. He'll go down quick enough. Oh, I need a better weapon. I need a better weapon. This one's almost done. Oh crap! There we go. That's better. Whew. Okay, and there's my hammer. All right, so I need to put my mod away because I'm about to break it, and I do not want to break that, that fucking heat blade. I like it. It does really good, but it doesn't have enough durability. What do we have here? All kinds of stuff. You know what we got here. All right. I wonder if I'm going to find uh, find the champagne for the horror around here somewhere. It would be cool if I did. So it doesn't look like it's actually going to let me into the hotel at all. It'll let me walk around the hotel, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to enter the hotel, at least not yet. Maybe later I will, but not now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording until we can get back to... Oops, let's go the other way. I'm going to pause the recording until we can get back down to Cinemoy. And then we'll figure out what mission he has for us next. And then continue from there in the next episode. Alright, here we go. Back at the lifeguard station. We're going to go ahead and talk to Cinemoy. See what else he has for us to do. Maybe and there's something inside. <laughs> and then we're going to call it an episode. There are two petrol stations in the area, right? One by the lighthouse and one by the tunnel to the city. There might be some food and drinks there. I need you to go and bring everything you can find. Check the two gas stations and bring two packs of juice. Okay, I can do that. I'll do my best. You might need a car to get it all back. Look for one at the station. All right. And since I don't have any juice, it's not going to let me give him the food cans. So I've already got the food cans. So this is a continuing quest that is going to change. Um, it's, it's always going to be there. To bring back supplies but it's going to change from time to time as to what types of supplies I need to bring okay uh, how many Molotovs do I have I got five okay well I'm good on that then um, I'll save that alcohol back for a little bit later okay so we're gonna call that an episode right there I'm gonna go downstairs hit the bench upgrade my stuff fix my mod see if I can make the other mod and we're going to go ahead and call it an episode. Please do not forget to check the links in the description below for the Disabled American Veterans and the Wounded Warriors Project. Let's please help support our veterans. If you liked the video, then hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Tell your friends and family to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Please don't forget to leave a comment. They are always welcome, good, bad, or somewhere in between. Thank you very much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. And until next time, this is Brian Bad Hippie Jackson saying peace, love, clean underwear, and happy gaming.